Based on all this talk about things being linear, it might occur to you that we're going to take an interest in something called a line. And in fact, we are. Before we do that, however, we want to talk a little bit about what a line actually is. Geometrically, a line is defined by certain properties. It's straight, so it doesn't have any curves. So this would be a line. This would be not a line. It extends infinitely in both directions. Now, obviously, when we draw a line, we don't draw it extending infinitely. We indicate that it extends in both directions by writing arrows on the end. What if it doesn't extend infinitely in both directions? If it only extends in one direction, that's called a ray. So a ray has an end point at one end and then extends infinitely in one direction. If it doesn't extend in either direction, that's a line segment. When we talk about using a ruler and measuring a line, we're actually talking about measuring a line segment. But in regular conversation, we're kind of sometimes a little bit lazy about that term. Now, the last thing to keep in mind about a line is it has no thickness. What do I mean by that? Well, when I draw a line with my pen, that picture has a thickness, right? It's the width of the pen line. But we imagine the line itself as being just the bit that's right down the middle of the pen line, right? It has no thickness. The thickness is just there so that we can see where it's drawn. Now there are some important properties that lines have that we're going to make really, really extensive use of. In particular, we need to know how do we distinguish between lines? How do we tell one line from another? Because they all look the same. Right? They all have no thickness. They all extend infinitely in both directions. How do we tell them apart? One way to think about this is the idea that two points fix a line. So that's kind of an old-fashioned usage of the word fix. It's like a fix. They stick it down. That means two things. The first one is that if I tell you two points, there's only one line you can draw through them. So if I tell you these two points, you could take a ruler and put it down so that, you know, this point is on it and this point is on it. And then the only line you can draw through these two points is this one. But there's something even better about this. If I have what I think are two lines, but then I find out that they share two points in common, they're actually the same line. So what this is saying is, we can't have a picture that looks like this, but both of them are lines. So that's one way to think about lines, right? If I have two points, I can always draw exactly one line through them. There's another way to approach this, though. I can also describe a line using one point and then the direction that the line goes. So, for example, if I give you this point and I say, I want a line that goes through this point and goes straight up and down, well, that specifies just one line. And there it is. All right? So we can also specify a line by saying one point to say where it is and then saying what direction it goes in. Notice it's not always obvious whether two lines are the same or different. If we know that they have two points in common, then we definitely know that they're the same. But if we don't know that they share two points, do we know that they're different? Not necessarily. Maybe we just don't know about it. However, we do know this. If the second line has a point that's not on the first line, then they're different. Being the same line means being on all the same points. What about this direction idea? If the lines are in different directions, 
They're definitely different lines. If they're in the same direction, however, we don't know whether they're the same line or whether they have another property that we'll meet in the next video.